Welcome back to a new episode of Echoes of Azaisha. Today is a science exhibition and I'll take you through our science exhibitions. This is how desperate anxious kids look like before the exhibition begins. So this is Duo Science a Smart Factory and this What's the point of this? Well, that is welcome you to our class of Science A and welcome you to our Science Exhibition. So, the Internet of Things, the IoT, I'm pretty sure most of the judges already know what it is. But it's like a network of connections between physical objects, vehicles, buildings, anything with internet connection, software, and sensor. It lets us collect data, uh, interpret it, then use it for what we want. So, so uh, we decided to use this idea put it with critical thinking, creative and analytical uh, interpretations and put it together to make a smart factory. And as we see as this machine turns, this is a power source and this is a semi-perpetual machine. So all the water that we use here, it will be recycled. So nothing is wasted here. It's a clean source and this acts as a really great source for our factory. So we made a smart factory for our school that is powered with the help of our devices such as our mobile. We are using the big platform for this one. So what we are doing is that um, through the perpetual machine we are actually trying to generate electricity. It's our smart factory and these are two DJ pins and we have a temperature and humidity sensor using the GHD level temperature and humidity sensor for our circuit. And then when you turn on this relay, you can actually power on the generator that is used to turn on the Mm, it will be used to turn on the generator that powers the data system that we have and then after that we have the medium one which turns on certain appliances that we have connected to the generator. The generator is turned on, we can actually turn on and off the appliances. There might be a certain delay uh, due to the speed of the internet depending upon the areas that we have. Another source of energy that we have also used for our factory will be reduced. Uh, we extracted graphene from batteries and then we used that here. This is a source of energy when we are connected with copper wires. can produce sufficient energy as graphene is able to produce high energies in high capacity and stuff that can be used to charge the batteries that we are using in our batteries. As you already mentioned, IoT should be like working the motor that you can see here is not just limited to this car. This motor can also be used in smart irrigation because since we will act in the because this is connected, I mean, this is connected to the relay, we can use our homes to power this car from anywhere in the So it's, this just needs to have the internet, and that's why it's called internet of things. <laughs> This fan also starts rotating and this also turns on. So I This is our blink app. Now let me turn it on here. It turns on everything turns on. The so nice dude is back again. Hi. Powering future industry. Welcome to my channel. We can never be sure. 
sure whether these resources will run out in the future, especially with climate change. However, geothermal energy is always there. What's this model about? How does it work? Oh, this is a city! Oh, looks so beautiful. We have an infrared receiver, which is all the way over here. And we have a DHT11 sensor, switches, and a bunch of push buttons, and our relays over here, along with the infrared remote. To the infrared remote, you can always point at the damn thing. If I press one, the first tube light will activate. Two, the second will. Three, the third will. <laughs> and four, the fourth tube light will. And this doesn't work only for lights. Any appliance that you connect it to, it'll work. Thank you, Magician Bushka. This is how Mr. Roshan works in his lab, everybody. We also have a number of sensors working in this. So, as you can see, this is the working device. There's a temperature sensor, humidity sensor, soil moisture sensor, and two relay buttons. I just press this button on, and then the relay turns on inside, and then that's how it starts watering. <laughs> Turn it off. Now to the results of the science exhibition of Moksham Higher Secondary School of 2023. We have in first position 12 science A with 87.5%. So Miyagi, we are obliged to give away the certificates for the winning team. It's yeah, me. Thank you, sir. We have Tins of Broker Dorji. I was the only privileged one there looking for Rachi and company is y'all. Next we have is the Rachio. Last we have that's it for today. Do like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more content.